Hi everyone, I'd like to thank prospective students and parents for joining this session on economics at Stellenbosch University. My name is Wawa Nkosi and I'm a lecturer in the Department of Economics. In this session, I'd like to discuss what it is we do in our department, why you should consider becoming an economist, and why you should study at Stellenbosch University specifically. I'll also go over what it is our students go do after they've studied here, where they go off to work, and where they make an impact. So join me as I go through this presentation. As you know, economics is a social science. Um, economics, in economics, we look at individuals, we look at firms, and we look at governments. And we're concerned with the decisions that they make, the interactions between them in terms of scarce resources. Um, and so at the macroeconomic level, for example, we'd be interested in understanding how these decisions that these different parties make then affect aggregate consequences such as financial markets, how do they affect GDP growth, what do these interactions and decisions mean for inflation. And so one way that John Maynard Keynes decided to describe what economics was is that he said that a good economist is someone who possesses a rare combination of gifts. A good economist must be a mathematician, a historian, a statesman, and a philosopher in some degree. And so this shows you that economics is not just about applied mathematics. There's an opportunity here to really combine a, a, a lot of fields of study together to help you understand the world. So what we do is that we use mathematics and economic knowledge to help us translate into policy making and transferable skills that you can use to make the world a better place. So why study economics? As I've already alluded to in the previous slide, um, economics can be combined with a variety of study fields. Economics is typically combined with statistics and mathematics, um, computer science, lately data science, um, investment management, law, public policy, political science, and many other fields. So when studying economics, I think it gives you the opportunity to still decide what it is you want to do and start quite broadly and combine different fields and later have the opportunity to narrow this down at a postgraduate level. And the next question you may have is why should you study economics at Stellenbosch University specifically? At our university, we have a well-rounded, very rigorous economics program. And the hope that we have is that by the end of your study, you'll be provided with the necessary tools to understand and to analyze what's happening in the world. So it's not just about learning a bunch of models and going out there and wondering how these models connect with that. We try to bridge that gap to introduce you to these models and help you understand economic ph phenomena better. Further than that, our program is also structured in such a way that it prepares you for postgraduate studies in economics. Our department also has been around since the 1920s. Um, it's a very reputable department and we have been success we are notably a successful economics department in this country. This department um, has a grouping of very passionate individuals who have the aim of making a difference in our country. A lot of the research that has been done in the economics department at Stellenbosch University has gone on to affect policy. A lot of our lecturers and students have gone on to work in very critical um, economic research spaces such as the Reserve Bank, the National Treasury, and have contributed to key decisions in our country. So I'd just like to address some frequently asked questions. Often students feel that they need to study economic, they need to have done economics in grade 12 to study economics at university level, and that is absolutely not the case. You don't need to have done economics in your high school to be able to study economics. Um, our first year course in economics will cover everything that you need to know. But more, what's most important is having done mathematics. I think I've already discussed this. Mathematics is quite important. And so that is the one subject that you truly need to study economics here. Yeah. And you may also be asking yourself, does studying economics mean that I'm an economist? 
I've also kind of alluded to this already. Economics can be combined with a variety of study fields. So you can go and become a data analyst, a lawyer, a policymaker, a data scientist, a statistician, and several other fields in finance and international development. This slide just shows you a few of the companies and organizations that most of our studies students have studied at, have worked at, such as the World Bank, we have the IMF, StatsSA, the Reserve Bank, JPAL, and other consulting and banking spaces that our students have worked in. I do hope that this presentation has given you a better idea of what it is we do at Stellenbosch University, and I hope that it's convinced you to study economics. We look forward to welcoming you here next year, and thank you for joining me.